Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will show you the phytochemical screening of different types of secondary metabolites, means the chemical identification test of different secondary metabolites which are found in the plant. In this video, we will practically demonstrate about the general identification test of alkaloid, flavonoids, saponin and tannin. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link is given in the description box. So, let's start. First, we are going to perform the chemical identification test for alkaloids. Here we have taken about 5 gram of the sample powder for the alkaloid test and then transfer sufficient quantity of ethanol. You can also use methanol in place of ethanol for the preparation of alcoholic extract. Cover the conical flask with the cork and then shake the conical flask properly to mix the content of the conical flask. Then keep the conical flask for about 30 minutes for the extraction. After 30 minutes, filter the content of the conical flask through the normal filter paper and discard the residue and collect the ethanolic extract below into the beaker and then transfer the ethanolic extract into the china dish. Keep the china dish over the boiling water bath to evaporate the solvent and to dry the ethanolic extract completely. After drying, remove the china dish from the water bath. You can see that solvent is completely evaporated and the ethanolic extract is completely dry. Then add sufficient quantity of dilute HCl to dissolve this dried residue. After dissolving this dried residue with the sufficient quantity of dilute HCl, you can see the some residue left. You have to remove this residue. For this, filter the content of the china dish through the normal filter paper to remove the residue and collect the liquid extract below into the beaker. After filtration, take about 2 ml of the liquid extract with the help of dropper into the test tube and transfer the equal amount into the second test tube. After transferring 2 ml of the extract in both the test tube, now we are going to perform Mayer's test. Take Mayer's reagent, add few drops of Mayer's reagent in one test tube and compare the changes with the second test tube. Formation of cream precipitate indicates the presence of alkaloid in our sample. Here you can clearly see the formation of cream precipitate which indicates the presence of alkaloid in our sample. Next test is Wagner's test. Add few drops of Wagner's reagent to the one test tube containing extract and compare with the second test tube. Formation of reddish brown precipitate indicates the presence of alkaloid in our sample. Now we are going to perform next test that is Hager's test. Add few drops of Hager's reagent to the one test tube containing extract and compare the changes with the second test tube. Formation of yellow precipitate indicates the presence of alkaloid in our extract. Here you can clearly see the formation of yellow precipitate which indicates the presence of alkaloid. Now the last test is Dragondorf test. Add few drops of Dragondorf reagent to the one test tube containing extract and compare the changes with the second test tube. Formation of orange red precipitate indicates the presence of alkaloid in our extract. Next is the chemical identification test for flavonoid. First test is Shinoda test taken orange pill powder for the detection of the flavonoid. First of all transfer small amount of the orange pill powder into the conical flask and then add ethanol 95% for the preparation of the ethanolic extract. After the addition of the ethanol into the conical flask then shake the conical flask so that the ethanol get completely mixed up with the orange pill powder. After shaking cover the conical flask with the cork and then leave the content of the conical flask for about 30 minutes for the extraction of the orange pill powder. After 30 minutes filter the content of the conical flask through the normal filter paper and then collect the filtrate into the beaker. Here is the ethanolic extract we have collected after filtration in which we have to perform the synoda test for the detection of the flavonoid. Take about 2 to 3 ml of ethanolic extract of orange pill powder which we had prepared and then transfer it into the test tube. After the addition of ethanolic extract into the test tube, then add few drops of concentrated HCl. Add about 3 to 4 drops of concentrated HCl into the test tube and then after the addition of concentrated HCl, add few pieces of magnesium ribbon. Add about 3 to 4 pieces of magnesium ribbon into the test tube. After the addition of concentrated HCl and the magnesium ribbon, if the color of the extract changes to orange, red, pink or purple color, then it indicates that in the extract flavonoid is present. Here the color changes to red. It means in our extract flavonoid is present. Means Shinoda test is positive. 
The principle of the Sinoda test is that the flavonoid which is present in the extract after the addition of magnesium ribbon and concentrated HCl get reduced to the anthocyanidin and due to the formation of this anthocyanidin the color of the extract changes to red. Now we are going to perform the another test for the detection of the flavonoid that is alkaline reagent test. For this test take about 3 ml of the same ethanolic extract of orange pill powder which we had prepared earlier and with the help of dropper transfer it into the test tube. Transfer the same amount of the ethanolic extract into the another test tube and this test tube is taken for the reference purpose. After the addition of the extract into the test tube, add drop by drop 2% of NUS solution in both the test tube. After the addition of the NUS solution, the color of the extract changes to intense yellow color. After the formation of yellow color on the addition of NUS solution in both the test tube, then we have to add dilute HCl. With the help of dropper, transfer few drops of dilute HCl in the left test tube. We can see the color which was formed after the addition of NUS solution starts disappearing after the addition of dilute HCl and will completely disappear after few seconds. We can see that the color completely disappear. This confirms the presence of flavonoid in our extract. We can compare our result with the color of extract of the test tube in the right side. Next, different chemical identification test for tannin. Here we have taken Arjuna bark which we have already powdered and transferred into the beaker and then added sufficient quantity of water in it. Now boil the content of the beaker over the heating mantle for about few minutes to prepare the aqueous extract of the Arjuna bark. After boiling, filter the content of the beaker through the normal filter paper to remove the residue and to collect the aqueous extract below into the beaker. After filtration, now take the aqueous extract of the Arjuna bark and with the help of dropper, transfer 2 ml of the aqueous extract in the test tube. Transfer the equal amount of the aqueous extract in the second test tube. The second test tube here we have taken. For the comparison of the changes or the change in the color of the extract after performing the test. After transferring 2 ml of the extract to both the test tube, now we are going to perform the ferric chloride test. To the one test tube, add few drops of 5% ferric chloride solution. If the color of the extract changes to dark green color, then it's condensed tannin and if the dark blue color, then it's hydrolyzable tannin. In this extract color changes to dark green color, it means the extract contains content tannin. Now we are going to perform the second test that is gelatin test. For this again transfer 2 ml of the extract in both the test tube and then add few drops of 1% gelatin solution containing 10% of NaCl in one test tube and compare the changes with the second test tube. Formation of white precipitate after adding gelatin solution confirms the presence of tannin in our extract. Now we are going to perform the third test that is lead acetate test. Take 2 ml of the aqueous extract in both the test tube and then add few drops of 10% lead acetate solution to one test tube and compare the changes with the second test tube. Formation of white precipitate indicates the presence of tannin in the extract. We have performed test on the bark of Arjuna. Now we are going to perform the same test method for tannin detection for by using leaves of green tea. We have taken green tea leaves into the conical flask and then added sufficient quantity of water and then and then keep it for boiling over the heating mantle for about few minutes to prepare the aqueous extract. You can also use alcoholic extract for the tannin detection because tannin is also soluble in alcohol. After boiling, now filter the content of the conical flask through the normal filter paper to remove the residue and to collect the aqueous extract below into the beaker. After filtration, transfer 2 ml of the aqueous extract into one test tube with the help of dropper and then add equal amount of the aqueous extract in the second test tube. After transferring 2 ml of the aqueous extract of the green tea leaves to both the test tube, now we are going to perform the first test that is ferric chloride test for the tannin detection. Add few drops of ferric chloride solution to the one test tube and compare the color changes with the second test tube. The color of the extract changes to dark blue color which indicates the presence of hydrolyzable tannin in our extract. Now we are going to perform the second test that is gelatin test. Add few drops of gelatin solution to the one test tube and compare the changes with the second test tube containing aqueous extract of the green tea leaves. The formation of white precipitate indicates the presence of tannin in our extract. Now we are going to perform the third test that is lead acetate test. Add few drops of lead acetate solution to the one test tube and compare the changes with the second test tube containing aqueous extract of the green tea leaves. 
formation of white precipitate indicates the presence of tannin here you can clearly see the formation of white precipitate which indicates the presence of tannin in your extract next identification test for saponin that is foam test we have taken liquorice powder for the saponin test you can take any type of the other powder sample for the saponin foam test transfer sufficient quantity of water and mix gently to break the gums formed of the powder and then mix with the glass straw to for the proper mixing of the powder sample with the water boil the content of the beaker over the heating mantle for about 15 minutes to prepare the aqueous extract of our sample fruit drug powder after boiling allow the content of the beaker to cool and then filter through the normal filter paper and collect the aqueous extract in a beaker we have collected aqueous extract in a beaker and then transfer about 2 ml of the aqueous extract in a test tube after transferring 2 ml of the aqueous extract shake the test tube formation of foam indicates the presence of saponin in our extract then keep the test tube for 5 minute in a test tube stand if the foam is stable after the 5 minute then it confirms the presence of saponin in our sample after 5 minutes you can see that the foam is stable which confirms the presence of saponin in our given sample thank you for watching this video